<laughs> Thank you very much again, Z. Yeah. Um, Thomas, this question is for you. I mean, can you just talk about your time playing in, in, in the Premiership? Um, uh, just a brief reflection of your performance there and uh, being included back into the setup. I mean, what is the message from, from Rossi when you were included back into the Spring of setup after a silly season with, with uh, the other side? Yeah, so uh, going to Bath was great for my, myself and my family. We had a great time for the first season there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be exciting going back also. So uh, we're quite excited about that. And uh, but yeah, like everything, it's, a, it's such a big honor being back into the squad. And, uh, you know, it, it really bears a big responsibility when you get selected in the squad. So um, it's it's a very big privilege being here. Um, and I'm really excited after, after everything that happened to just be back into the team and back into the mix with the guys. Hendrik, can you so? Thank you very much, Zila. Um, Thomas, if I'm not mistaken, you've been playing professional right before 10 years. Um, since you left Paul Boys, you went straight to the Sharks. Um, just talk us through how the journey has been for you. Um, playing for the Sharks, moving to sale, and also um just finding a place that is a very competitive um and, and necessarily healthy um Brock Brock front row setup. Yeah, so I think my my journey goes like most rugby players, where it goes up and down, and there's highs and there's lows. So um, yeah, it's been the, the Sharks have been an awesome foundation for me, and I've I've really enjoyed my time there, and uh, it was good to spend a, a decade there. And uh, you know, going into the next phase of my career, being at Bath has uh, has been has been awesome. But it's always been underlined by the fact that I wanted to play for the Springboks, which is. Uh, which is the, the opportunity that uh, that few get, and and I'm very grateful for. Uh, sorry, just mention your second question again. Um, sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry, just being part of a very competitive um Springbok front row yeah. group over the years. Yes. yes. <clears throat> yeah, I think as everyone can see, that it's uh, it's an unbelievably competitive front row. Uh, it's very difficult to get into this position, and when you get there, you need to play well enough to keep it going. So um, it, it is very challenging, um, but I mean, that's what every rugby player wants to be at. That's what, what every rugby player wants to strive for, is being in a in a setup where it is unbelievably competitive um, and where everyone really needs to do their best to to stay in the side. Morgan? Thanks, you know. Bye, Thomas. Hi, Vincent. Thomas, um, when you get picked for a squad to play against Argentina as a front row, how much does it excite you? Because they are so renowned for the scrummaging prowess. And with having a scrum coach like Don, does his passion just drive you guys even more heading into a contest like this? Absolutely. I believe it's uh, kind of like the clash of the titans. Um, these guys uh, really pride themselves in their scrum, um, and we obviously do it also. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna re be a really proper battle, and uh, we're all quite excited about it. So, are you prepared for that? It's just how we normally do, and Don has got a really good system in place for that. Um, like Vincent mentioned earlier, he does make it very tough during the week, so that the weekend feels not as tough. Um, but against these guys, it's gonna be proper. It's a it's a proper battle, and one we know that will last a full 80 minutes. Ashfak. Thanks, Hina. Uh, Thomas, uh, we've seen um, Vincent kicking 50-22s. We've seen Auction Chair acting like a fly-out in the back line. What's going to be your party trick on Saturday? Uh, absolutely nothing. There's no, not a chance. I'm not, I'm not close to the level of, the, of what these guys can do. So no, uh, maybe a, maybe a backflip in a couple of years' time. <laughs> just, right. uh, just in terms of, of playing on both sides of the scrum, I, I know you were lucid before, and now you've been tightly over the last few years. Do you still fancy yourself on, on the left hand side of the scrum as well to add to the versatility? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely primarily a, a tight head prop. Um, but yes, I've uh, in the Premiership the last season, I've had a few opportunities to play lucid, which was also good. Uh, so I'll, I'll try and keep that going as much as possible. Uh, just to be able to lend a hand whenever it's needed, uh, required of me. And Vincent can obviously also do it, so uh, you can always jump in. Grant? Thanks, E. How's it, guys? Just um, to Thomas, you had an unbelievable try scoring campaign uh, in the Premiership, but um, talk about the Springboks uh, defence and then to Vince, um, what do you make of the blend between our attack and defence? Thanks. Um, yeah, uh, about the tries, yeah, it's been a, it's been good. Um, 
very weird for me, uh, but yeah, the, the opportunity just presented itself. Uh, just to speak to the Springbok defense, we obviously pride ourselves very much in the in the defensive uh, part of the game, um, which is a, a part that we really work hard at. Um, so, uh, especially against the uh, against Argentina, it's going to be a, a, a test for us um, in that facet of the game. So it's going to be good. Can you so? Um, thank you very much, Zila. Um, Thomas, how much are you celebrating at the prospect of being entrusted with the job of winning the rugby championship um, by by Coach Rassi? Um, I mean, it's very changes every so often in a test match, but it's clear that he's given you 23, the, the 23 um, picks for Saturday, you. the task of ensuring that next week's game in Bombella is a coronation game. Yeah, um... Listen, the, the reality of it is we, I think, more than ever feel like the trust is is really there. Uh, the trust, the fact that we're building a squad and, um, you know, it's not just words, it's actually being put into action. Uh, but on the flip side of the coin, there's a big responsibility on those guys that he's trusting. Um, so there's a, there's a good balance of feeling that we are being trusted, but also knowing that there's a big responsibility that lies there for us. Okay. Um, Nathan, I see you've got your hand up. We can take two more questions. So we'll yes, go yes, with Nathan. Please. And if there's one more after that, then we can do that. I can take both questions if, if there's no one else. Uh, I, I think it will, will want some for the Sunday uh, papers as well. So one, Nathan, thank you. Okay, we'll do so. Um, um, Vincent, I mean, I mean, uh, sorry, for Thomas, um, the tag, Sia will not be playing this weekend. How have you guys embraced the idea of having him as uh, Sia within the coach's box this weekend? Something has been done before, uh, like Dwayne at, at the previous World Cup. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it uh, goes both ways again. Um, I think the coaches will get some insight to what the players will be feeling uh, with Sia there. And then obviously Sia will come with a newfound respect of what's happening in the box. And... Uh, and a newfound uh, perspective on what's happening in the box when we are on the field. So um, I think there's a lot to be learned on both sides, and I'm and I'm quite excited to see how that plays out. So uh, I think I think it's a very a very cool thing, um, and and hopefully there's something that comes out that we can take into the next couple of games. Uh, fine, Indruk. Uh, you know, can I ask this one in Afrikaans, if you don't mind? Yeah. You don't. Dank jy, weer aan Vincent, is kies uh, Thomas, maar dit is oor die sondagkorant wat ek vir Vincent vraag deelt het. Vincent, uh, ek het nou gehoor wat Ashok sê van die 50-22, iets wat my net plaas, die nog geen drie gedruk het in 56 toetsen nie, maar dit is nou sommer net tong in die kies. Vincent, die wat ek jou eindelijk wil vraag, ek het nou podcast geluister waar André Pollard gepraat en toe praat hy van, jy was die mission heel verskrikkelijk hoog in Frankrijk gewees en toe het jy gesikkel na eerste helft het in Engeland, toe was jy een bykie pap gewees emotioneel, jy het net twee oor winnings oor die All Blacks gehad wat massief was, hoe, hoe, hoe werk die emotionele voorbereiding voor die toets tegen, tegen die Pumas, wie is verantwoordelijk vir dit? Ja, ek denk die, het is allemaal verantwoordelijkheid, ek denk ons het lekker in die begin van die week gepraat, ek het kom al een hele jaar, um, wat, ons, wat ons hier oor praat en hoe gaan ons elke naweek in en uit kan gaan en vaste bly uh, mentally, verstaan. So, ek denk coach Ras en sy coaching staff het, het goeie planiekies. Ek wil, as jy kan sien, roteer ons een bykie, dat daar die ouwens vaste en motivate het. So, ek denk het is um, ietsie wat ons aan gewerk het, wat, ek, wat ons in die verlede miskien nie recht gekry het nie, is om elke naweek in en uit um, of gemotiveerd te bly. Um, en ek denk wat ons nou doen en wat die coach Ras hulle en die bokke doen, help dit definitief. Um, dit geef vir mense opportunities ook, maar ook dat die ouwens is honger wat die kans krijg. So, um, ja, ek denk hierdie naweek gaan glad nie uh, anders, anders story wees. Ek denk ons gaan definitief opwees vir die game, ons gaan definitief opwees vir die game. En um, ja, ek denk ons as een groep is, is er erg excited. Um, ek kan eerlijk waar sê, die groep was nog nooit so close, soos wat het nou is nie. En um, ek denk vir die toekomst van het waar ek bees is ongelooflik. Maar mentally gaan ons definitief wel wees en ons het lekker planiekies gemaakt, uitjaras het planiekies gemaakt met sy coaching staff. So ons gaan nou 100% opwees vir die game in my week. Uh, 